Hello, welcome to my studio. Today I'm going to be talking about what I do to clean my brush during the painting process. This isn't so much about brush cleaning as about that time while you're painting. How do you actually manage your brush to get the best results? Stick around and get a few tips that you can apply to your oil painting to create more clean color notes. Now I've spoken in the past and I have videos about my brush cleaning method for oil paints. At the end of the day, I give my brushes a good clean with some mineral turpentine. It is odorless mineral turpentine made for artists. And that's pretty much all I need to do. It conditions the brushes as well, gives them a good thorough clean. And then I just store the brushes upright where they can be ready for painting the next day. Now I use mineral term time because I'm using bristle brushes. With synthetic hair brushes you can use something like soap, a mild olive soap for instance, and you just work that into the hairs and you can rinse that out. With oil paints, I prefer mineral turpentine. But what do I use during the painting process? I don't want any turpentine in my paints. Nothing must break down the saturation or the strength of those expensive paint colors. What I have been using for a long time is just a little bit of Artist White Spirits. Just uh, something like this and I put it in a little cup, just a, a few mils, uh, probably a few tablespoons really of white spirit and also a few drops of linseed oil into it and it makes a sort of uh, useful medium if I want to loosen up the paint. I just dab my brush in there, get a little paint and for instance in the first stages where I'm just doing a rough drawing, outline drawing perhaps, or just scrubbing in some uh, loose color. Occasionally, if I see the brush is getting really dirty, I will dip it into that white spirits and then give it a good wipe off with some tissue paper. And that is pretty much all the cleaning that needs to be done using solvents. The most important part of servicing the brush during painting is using tissue paper and just giving the brush a good clean off and wiping off all of that extra paint of your brush pretty much gets all the paint off that I need and as I said if it's really beyond redemption I will put a little bit of white spritz in there and give it a, a wipe off with the tissue as well. That in addition to having a number of brushes on hand sometimes you just put the brush down or use a brush for uh, light color and use another brush or two for darks. So that also helps. The whole point is to manage the brushes do, during your painting without getting solvents into your paint. Now all that's well and good, but a lot of you don't like to use white spirits because it is a solvent even if it is odorless, and it must be odorless, don't get any solvents that you can smell. That is very important. It is the strong smell of solvents, for instance, hardware store solvents, that is going to make you ill. And uh, it's definitely not something you want in your studio. But nevertheless, even odorless solvents, it is a solvent. It could cause skin irritation. So if that's an issue, uh, wear gloves. I always have a surgical glove on the hand that doesn't hold the brush, right? In my case, I'm right-handed and I put a surgical glove on my left hand because that's where I'm holding the tissues and it gets all the solvents on it. So if you want to avoid the white spirits, um, you can try another product that I've started using and I'm basically testing it out as an alternative. 
It's a non-toxic oil paint dilutant and brush cleaner and it's called Zested. It's described as a non-flammable, non-toxic alternative to terps and uh, artist white spirits with a pleasant citrus smell. And it describes further to say that it's for use with oil color to thin the paint and clean brushes. Also can be used with oil pastel or oil based ink. But this also may help to answer the question of what do you do with your solvents after you finish painting? How do you dispose of it? And if it is non-toxic, it should pose little or no risk to the environment and quickly uh, biodegrade naturally. So let's have a look at the um, zested product in action and uh, see how it compares. I may also mention it has a nice citrus smell so that is also a good thing. No harmful smells in the studio is very important to your safety and comfort. Right. If you need to clean your brush off, just a, a few strong dips in there and then wipe off with the tissue and it's pretty much cleaned off the same as regular white spirits. So this immediately strikes me as an excellent alternative to artist white spirits that you can use during your painting process. But always be very careful of getting too much spirits in your paint. Once your paint is broken down from solvents, it's a real problem. It dries without uh, vibrancy as well. So that's something we want to avoid. But I must say it's pleasant to have that little citrus smell like a bit of aromatherapy while you paint. Well, I hope that's given you an idea of a product that is not going to be harmful to you in the studio and anything that makes painting experience a little more pleasant is a good thing. So you can try it, zest it. I'm sure you can find it at all your good art stores or online somewhere. In South Africa I get it from artsavingsclub.co.za and uh, so far I'm pretty happy with it. Well, thanks for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button so you don't miss the next video. And remember, there's a free painting course for you up here. Check it out and join me on my painting school. And I look forward to uh, discussing more painting tips with you over there as well. Okay, until next time. Cheers for now.